Hi guys. Well, um, some of you saw my last video where I introduced uh, this machine, the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon uh, Combo with AMS. Um, I've printed a few things with it uh, over the last uh, few days and um, I decided to uh, give you guys an update. Well, I'm uh, currently printing a project like you can see. It's a uh, model uh, IBC tank. Uh, I usually print it each part alone with my Prusa and uh, assemble them. But um, I'm deciding to try to print it as one item with, uh, of course, the different filaments so it can automatically uh, color shift. Well, today I just wanted to talk about uh, the pros and cons of this machine to those of you that are considering it. Just a look. Well, uh, as some of you know, I have my Prusa there and I have my Voron there. And uh, this machine is... Uh, as I expected, a combination of uh, both. It has the speed of the Voron and the accuracy of the Prusa. Now it's changing the filament. It has just cut off the old filament, as you can see. And uh, I just, you can see it's winding up the red filament and it's about automatically. This AMS is very impressive. And then it's loading the orange filament now to the tool head so it pulled up the red and it's now loading the orange and what it does down there is it uh, spits out some of the filament there so it makes sure the correct orange color comes in and it goes to the, the pr priming tower there it lays down a little of the filament but I've set it so it also uh, uses the infill as a priming tower so th that way I do not waste so much uh, filament which I'm testing for the first time today so that will be interesting anyway back to my pros and cons uh, uh, I was mentioning that the pros it's uh, actually uh, what I expected speed and accuracy is quite good it's an all-in-one machine ready to go out of the box you uh, it's cleaned the top of the filament there, cut off the excess, and then it's back to the, to the priming tower. Anyway, we continue. So in that way, I'm satisfied. It's a very intelligent machine. It does automatic bed leveling and all that. So that's very good. Uh, the support was good. I had a couple of uh, issues with it when I started it up. And uh, uh, the support from the factory was actually quite uh, uh, quite nice. They answered very quickly and they gave me uh, tips what to do. Anyway, things uh, that I like uh, uh, to summarize. Uh, the AMS is very good. It's uh, very reliable. The machine is very fast. It's very precise and the quality of prints are good. When we come to the cons, I'd like to say that uh, this uh, cold plate, it has it prints PLA on what's called a cold plate and uh, you have to use glue stick as a releasing agent because it just sticks like hell and you can't release it if you don't use glue stick. I think glue stick is a cake. I don't know why they decided to go that route. I mean, only the old primitive printers still use glue sticks. So why they didn't uh, think of something else, I don't know. But um, luckily, when you use glue stick once, you can have a lot of prints before you need to wash it under the tap with some hot water and uh, refresh on the glue stick again. So it's not that bad, but I'd rather it doesn't have it. I have also bought the textured plate. I can uh, get it for you. The textured plate is this one there. And that's the original Bamboo Lab textured plate. There is, however, an issue with the textured plate, which is also a con. The textured plate uh, works as it should, but the LiDAR, uh, 
the laser uh, measuring uh, ability uh, of the tool head to calibrate using laser does not work with the uh, uh, textured PEI plate and it's written on it so um, you expect that so that an error comes there which you just have to click ignore and it continues so that's the second con the third con which you can probably re already relate to is the noise this machine is noisy yes um, when you have a core XY machine running at these speeds you must expect that there is some noise there's nothing you can do about it it's, it is acceleration is high and uh, and uh, the belts pull very quickly it must make noise that's the fact of life but the fans on this thing is crazy especially if you're not using the cold plates if you're using the other plates where the temperature the bed temperature is above 45 or 50 degrees the fan is made to blow at full speed and which fan am I talking about I'm talking about the extraction fan that is behind there it extracts extracts from the chamber through a activated carbon filter and out there and it is so loud I had to go into the G code and, um, and tamper a little bit with it to um, put the fan down from full speed but with the cold plate it's not that bad as you can see the cold plate runs at 35 degrees and the chamber is only 32 degrees and as long as you're running the cold plate you can close both this glass door and this glass door and uh, there'll be no heating problems sorry about the reflection of the window there there's uh, nothing I can do about it so that's um, another con another con uh, I also uh, could have liked to have been implemented was that uh, that light that you see there it could have been brighter and uh, maybe it's because the lidar has needs some amount of uh, of, of, of uh, darkness to be able to 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 to, to calibrate properly but um, it's not so bright so what I did was it's an easy fix I put some LED strips uh, under the AMS stop them under the AMS with 3M you know self sticking LED strips so that gives some extra light for me as you can see I can just switch it on and off it really it really helps there and there those are the LED strips my own LED strips so I don't have to use the machines well uh, that's uh, also a con um, apart from that it's a fantastic machine it's uh, no complaints complaints at all and if you're thinking about getting one and you can live with the noise i mean go ahead i've seen people uh, i was uh, talking about uh, speeds uh, a voron well <laughs> i have a voron i have a speed devil the little 0 0.1 and um, when you come to a benchy under 20 minutes when you go to to 18 minutes or so it's really not a good quality benchy so 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 i don't i don't i don't really see the fascination with it yes if you want to 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 nerd around with the settings with clipper play with clipper yes i enjoy that but this machine out of a block out of a box prints a perfect benchy at 17 minutes time speed that is well <laughs> more than any boron I have ever seen in real life I'm sure they exist some that can do more than that but out of the box this one is fantastic I've even read of some putting the ludicrous uh, speed you can see this is just the speed is just normal if I go uh, into the settings there you can see I'm just running 100% that's normal if I click there I can run it on sport that's 125% and ludicrous that is 150% I believe and then it has a silent mode there anyway I've seen people run 
ludicrous speed and print out a decent benchy in 13 minutes without any tuning now that's fantastic now some people um, have mentioned about the FL uh, Sun 400 V or V400 it's a lovely machine I love deltas I've never owned one but I love deltas so far I have seen on YouTube the fastest benchy was 23 minutes and it was a crappy benchy so I'm sure some people will tune it up and get it to perform better at that uh, new Delta machine running clipper but like I said if you want an out-of-the-box experience where you do not have to to pull your hair out and use a lot of hours trying to solve problems then get the Bamboo Labs uh, X1 series and uh, remember this is their first printer I tend to shiver when I think about what the second or the third will be because these guys are just crazy anyway those were my uh, two cents about the issue and um, I hope you enjoyed the little talk today if you uh, enjoyed what you see remember to subscribe to the channel leave a like it really helps in the algorithm and um, I think I'll just shut up and let you enjoy the noise and the printing. Bye for now.